What's up, punks? Jay here, and welcome to the next episode of the Shiny Academy Challenge. There. Now, uh, while we're getting things booted up, we're gonna get stream ready to start off straight away because I forgot to start the next fight. And obviously, I was on my own. There we go. Uh, this one. Alright, now that's done. Uh, last time we were working on Mangino. And it didn't end well, as in we didn't find it. But we shall try again today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. <clears throat> hey, Manchina. Some tofu. Hot. Tofu, 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 tofu. Uh, sour and bitter. Since this took more than one sandwich, if we find it. Basically, we will um, move on to the next thing straight away. Hmm. Let's put some cucumber in the middle. What even is tofu made of? It looks horrible. Hello. Hello. What looks horrible? Tofu. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah, um, I did kind of take a risk asking if you were on your own because there was a chance someone was with you and all that. I mean, there was nobody in there. I mean, Kevin's on and Meg is on, but mm. I just Wait. sat there by myself. Something I think I need to come clean with, yeah. I think you need to unmute some I mean... parts of Discord. What? Because like, we've been trying to grab you for all week. What? I don't, I literally don't have, the only thing I have muted I think is the Twitter one. And the pokey cord. I think that's it. Hold on. Like I, I, I did tag you uh, the the other day. That's a thing. <laughs> I didn't get any response. I just, I'm just tired. Yeah, the one I uh, yeah, because I just don't. I just forget. Yeah, the only ones I've muted is the pokey cord and the 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 J Nitro Twitter posts. Because I oh. see your Twitter posts anyways, because I'm on Twitter, so I don't need the notification for them anyways. There's no point of that. The Twitter post tab hasn't been working for months ever since Pippin X became a thing. Lovely. I don't want to unmute it, though, in case it does start working again, because I would get a notification every time you tweet something. Which was often. Well, come on. Like When I saw a retweet of Lumity, I had to put it up. I know, but I don't want to get a notification every single time you retweet something. With how often I retweet stuff, that would get annoying. And it did. <laughs> so I was like, I am uh, mute. <laughs> I think, frankly, I'm just glad I've got someone to talk to this week. Mm. Alright, so we're going after a fuzzy Shiny chinchilla. Hunting? Yes. That's what it's say. Um. What do you. Hmm. It's for a, a the... Minchino, basically. Oh, I see it. The, the, the chinchilla guy. I see him. Can this thing die? Oh yeah, it can, cause I can crit. 
Let's go. Oh, it's getting really close to see a thieves days, lads. Uh, 18 days, if I remember correct? It could be sooner with the or whole... 17 uh, now. It could be sooner with them. Um, Early access. Thing. Yeah. And the beta as well. I'm really hoping so. I'm hoping to use the beta as a chance to test it out with Crowy and Mike. Hmm. So we need to make sure we're available for that. And of course, as soon as I start to actually hunt for the thing, a snowstorm comes up and causes my game to lag. Long. I've been playing. Ow. Ooh. I've been playing Persona 3. Pretty much ah. all day. I have also been watching this show I found on Netflix called Physical 100. And it is fucking insane. It's this Korean show about a bunch of these, like, athletes. Like, we got bodybuilders, prison officers, like, all these really fit and, like, strong and muscular people. Mm. Like, there was, what was it? There was cheerleaders, fitness YouTubers, bodybuilders, wrestlers, Olympic Olympians in it. And I just finished the first season. It was so good. Is this a live action figure or is it an anime? So insane. It's live action. It's basically a, they take a hundred people and they have them, like they whittle them down to find out who's the who's got the perfect body. So it's Korean Ninja Warrior or something. Kind of, but there's a hundred people and they're all competing at once. And there's like different tasks. There's four tasks, four quests, as they call them. The Korean are interesting, I'll say that. It is... it was... it's really cool. It's fucking cool! Oh, I forgot I guess has no health. Okay, shit. I'm trying to think over what's happening with the single player games, because obviously I'm going through Hi-Fi Rush on Mondays now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think what I could do after that. Um, like, so I'm not stuck like I'm normally stuck with the South Mighty Park Legends. the Stick of Truth, bro. <laughs> I would not get away with anything related to South Park on my channel. It'd get flagged as soon as a minute showed up of that. Um, what I, else? I'm not doing anything you South could do Park that, related. Uh, that game that's in the PS Plus collection. That magic FPS thing? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I got it on me thing, so maybe. It's really good. I've, I've, I'm, all, I've been playing a lot of it. It's very fun. I've been thinking about starting the um, Persona Five New Game Plus run. Okay, hog. Obviously, that's gonna last a long time. Mm. I'm, I'm not sure if you've seen my videos, but please just tell me the truth. I've got shit tempo in Hi-Fi Rush, haven't I? Um, I don't know. I watched the last one and you said Corsica had a weird accent, so I closed the video. <laughs> Corsica's Irish. Corsica is Scottish, brother. I, oh, come on. I had this whole contemplation for the whole video. I, is Corsica Scottish? Is Corsica Irish? I don't know. It's Corsica. Corsica is Scottish, brother. I was, at one point, I was thinking she was Welsh. Corsica is Scottish, bro. Aye, lass. Don't you have Scottish family members? Last time I saw them was 2018. You've disgraced them. <laughs> well, considering it won't feel like that they'd care. With your, with your bullshit. Um, where the fuck are the stairs? Where am I missing? Oh, this way. Okay. Stream, stream Raiders is up if you want to have a go at that as well. Is it? Is the link in the thing? Mm-hmm. Cool, the link won't work. <laughs> the link ain't Lincoln. Almost as bad as Lincoln Park. I'm trying to copy the text so I can get the link. From the from the from the chat, because for some reason the link ain't linking. But um, hold on. Mm. 
I'm I'm just still happy that we managed to reach a hundred subs. I know, like, it's so fog. Even YouTube's starting to say congratulations and all that. Again, I know it ain't a big milestone compared to other YouTubers, but I don't know, it's so pog though. Oh, fuck I have to log in with Twitch again. Yeah. I think frankly the ma the major reason why it's a big deal is it's proving that what we're doing is working. No, it's so pog. Where the fuck am I going? One way blind hop. You'd think finding a pink chinchilla would not be hard. Turns out it is. I'm trying to find another location I know that helps. Where is this goddamn person who wandered in this fucking tower? Oh, you're doing those like rescue missions. Oh, I hate them. I hated those in the in the original. I mean, they're not bad. I mean, you just have to do them before the full moon, which is fine. I mean, I ended up doing two quite literally just before the last full moon. I did. I went out of the wrong side of the cave. Love that. It's not Place the. Place a unit. It's not the first time someone's came out the wrong way of a cave. My stun silence is very deserving. Oh, you wanted a response to that one? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that the silence was deserved for how Fist crap that cuffs, innuendo that is. That one's weak to this. Go get him, Kurumaru! I love the dog. Oh shit, I just realized I, I can't... I just... I... I forgot. Oh, I guess I keep forgetting to heal you. I still got I still got to do personified tactica first. I guess half dead because I keep forgetting to heal her and all her abilities require her to use fucking health. Yeah, um, that's something I did not like about using I guess, but I knew how powerful she could get. It's pretty handy because in the floors that I'm at at the minute, most of her, most of the things are weak to bullet attacks, like pierce attacks, so I can just fucking have her use her normal attack and it's fine. But I just keep, I forgot. She took a lot of damage in the first fight we did. And I have just forgotten. Oh, there we go. Whole party I, st I still find it, of their HP. I still find it funny how they found her. It's like, ah, we're going to hide from people. Oh, what's this? it's in the cupboard. Oh, it's a robot. Welcome to the team. That's not how that worked. That's how I remember. You go to the beach, and then she's there watching you. Well, you that vacation. You're acting like that's any better, just randomly stumbling across a robot on the beach. You don't know she's a robot, you think she's a girl, because she's in a dress, and everyone's like, damn, it's part of Operation Babe Watch that Junpei and... Akihiko, for some reason. Well, I know why Junpei did it. Akihiko agreed to do it for a fucking stupid reason. I hate that so much. It's so cringe. I hate Junpei so much, and I can fight with Mike for the death of that. No, but you didn't even get to his character development. You didn't get there. Hey, if, it, if anything changes, I'll still call him stupid, but for now, I'm still calling him stupid. Oh, he's a fucking idiot, but, like, he gets better. You know, he's the stupid oh, yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. Now you speak up, Mike, when we're talking about your favorite flipping Sai-san. Listen. Junpei? He's a, he's a little bitch, but also, he gets good character development. He's a little bitch boy, but he gets good character development. And I was like, actually, Junpei, you're alright. What the fuck are these things we do? And I didn't bring Mitsuru with me! <laughs> alright, please tell me I have more. It's a, do I have an... Oh, Mabufu! Yes, okay, we're good. Well, it's a little bit convenient Let's that we were talking Dixie. about your favorite character of free, and then you show up. We summoned him. Why does that actually work? 
Well, instead yeah, of just I'm saying. I'm at the stage where where um, where Junpei hasn't gone o gotten over being a little bitch yet, but we're getting there. Fucked up, little whiny bitch. Nah, he's just a little bitch. I mean, I love him, but he's also he's a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also, you didn't get to the point where Junbei gets it to them. Well, I'm sorry. Am I supposed to have hey, the didn't. am I supposed to have the reactions of the Flash to do of those shadows? I mean, I I think you're just struggling, bro. I don't know why. What is this shit week two? Fire! I can do that one. Go dog. Well, my school wanted me to, so... Shoot him, I guess. Why did that remind me of I that scene so. in the Fractured Bow Hole where... Like, the new kid just farts on Jared. It's like a whole morality thing where you get to choose to Jared fart him or not. Jared from Subway! Never spare him, never spare the pedophile. Oh, after I fought the fight, I just relentlessly punched him awake, and then I just fired him unconscious again. Nice. Jared from Subway. It's very rare to say that you can actually fart on someone in a game. You know? I and mean, that's kind of like the whole point of South Park. It's kind of why I didn't choose the blaster class, mainly because your ult is literally a shit that would suit Mount Vesuvius. I'm sorry, what is? The blaster's class ultimate. Oh, I didn't know that. Like, you make an energy ball, shove it in your mouth, like you know you shit out an energy blast. And yes, okay. I just said that on Twitch.tv. I, mean, I, I also kind of hate using butters, um buddy ability because I, I hate watching him shove that hamster up my ass every time you know what I call it but now every time I see it I'm like it's okay if you're a little gay butters you know what you I don't care you know what I call you want to call that move g-force <laughs> god <laughs> this is not what they intended when when they wrote that movie Shadow! Considering they just made the entire plot of the Transformers film into a film with guinea pigs. Two of these. Two of these. Oh, they're all weak to fire. Go, Korumaru! Korachat! <laughs> yeah, I'm just checking. Everyone remembers the plot of that film, right? G Force. It's just. That, that crazy ass mole just came up with the entire plot of the tra 2007 Transformers film, but with guinea pigs. And you know what? It was better than the Transformers movie, so... Hey, if you want a good Transformers movie, go to the 1987 version. I, I ain't doing that. <laughs> it is good, though. I know, but I, I kind of like the things, because I like to turn my brain off and watch so. It's got good 80s like songs. The... Like it, uh, oh, there's a monad door here. Where is it? Where's uh, the door? Is, where's the monad door? It's on this floor, right? It is. It's saying it's on this floor. Where is it? Oh, come on, how- What way have I not gone? Um... Uh-oh. What? I found a duplicate shiny Porygon. <laughs> Porygon was the po Porygon was the first shiny we found in the challenge. Lovely. Let me in the door. Let me fight the big boy. Yeah, I don't know. I think you'd really like the the Persona Three Reload. It's very cool, and they added a lot of stuff that wasn't in the first game into this one. It's it's very very good. Get special attacks and shit in this one. 
<laughs> All right, let's beat it up. Hmm. Miss. Fuck! Please be pink to me. Let's go, Yukari! Hit it in the critty! Please don't ever say that again. I will continue to say it. She hit a crit. Alright, if you keep saying that, I'm gonna make that your catchphrase. Like how Mike's flipping for the content and mine's scrap. Picture mine is fuck. <laughs> what does Fred say? Fred says fuck. Um, Koromaru, do you want to try this? I don't know if it's going to do anything, but go for it. Well, he's not weak to that. Can't get up, though. I forgot I just died. Spoiler alert. It sounds so bad. I keep forgetting to heal, I guess. I forgot she died in the first round. Good lord. <laughs> Come on. Give me the give me the pink chinchilla. Give me the pink chinchilla. Resist that. What? Koruwaru! I already, I already did this hunt in my own time, Fuck that's the it, thing. let's go. Go Koromaru! Use your special attack, boy, let's go. That's fucking cool! He's so sick. There's something I need to do when we have a chance to. Mainly, uh, you know how I got things prepared so people could spam the Legends Arceus Shani sound to troll me while I'm playing through that game? Mm -hmm. I had to turn off all the extra bells and whistles to actually make it sound like an alert bot. But Hopefully. now I'm it not doing them it. Them for all of them, didn't it. I don't understand why you can't do it for certain ones, but not all of them. I don't know. Like, say... See? Like, no way I sound and no Bowser laugh. I obviously had to turn that off, because obviously it'd be a dead giveaway to me that someone did it. Mm. But now, it won't do it to any others. That's weird. So at some point, like maybe when I'm resetting the game to reset a sandwich, I might have to switch it back on. Well... Yeah, that's, that, that makes it pretty... Pretty darn obvious. Wait, did I open the chests? Did I? Did I even get any? Are they trolling my ass? Possibly? I just did that fight and got nothing. Yes. Why do I no, keep- No, I'm not. I'm being stupid. I'm being stupid as hell. I did get two chests. Why do I keep thinking about that crappy Megamind sequel? What? You oh, the, oh yeah. Sorry, I erased it from my brain. It was so bad. Even I, Will Ferrell wouldn't do it. I got a funny feeling they didn't even contact him. Next floor. No, they did. He just refused to do it because he saw how shit the animation was. He said no. <laughs> Where is this fucking person? Kodomaru... I keep using all your SP, I'm sorry, hold on. I, I don't think they've gotten any of the original actors in, let alone with Feral. No, definitely not. I mean, Koromaru have, have some SP back. I don't think Koromaru was a voice actor in Megamind. <laughs> Be nice to the dog. I keep taking him on walks, and I brushed him. One thing I the dog. One thing I do remember from that was, you know that uh, track, you know that athlete woman. I did try to. The team manager. Yeah, the team manager. I did try to try something with it. If you know what I mean. Romancer. Yeah. 
I did get to I a point where- I did that on accident, my first run. I, I just did... kept being nice to her and then went, oh wait, fuck, I've accidentally romanced her shit. I did get to the point she was starting to blush. But I don't think it was confirmed yet. Fun. I would not pick her. <laughs> I would not. I like the way she looks, no, alright? I don't... <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna romance, uh, Yukari. I'm not surprised by that. Uh, this run, and then my next run, Mitsuru. Out of the main cast, I did like Yukari the most. Mitsuru, my beloved. Yeah, I've, I thought, uh... <laughs> Mitsuru was your go-to. You know. Uh, she's my wife, but I also, for some reason, I don't know why, but since playing the remake, I've been like, damn, Yukari kind of hits different now. I'm just thinking about like all the things you said, like Makoto. Mm. I have a type, brother, and it shows. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Makoto, Mitsuru. When it comes to Persona games, I have a type. Although, in Persona 4, I go for Rise, so. I haven't played anything about 4, so I don't know who Rise is. You should. As like I said, I'm waiting for the film remake to come out. If they did that for no, 4, I'm... just play... They literally... Persona 4 Golden is fine as it is. Then why They're did not they... gonna remake 4 anytime soon. Then why did they remake 3? Because... The, the, the re-release for 3 is kind of shit. Like, yes, Portable's I know. Portable's not great. However, Persona 4 Golden is great. Go Igus. Fuck around and find out. Or miss. That's cool, too. I wonder what the Mabufu. Everyone's telling me Persona 4 Golden. It is perfect! Will it get me a chinchilla faster? I don't know. Like, who did you romance in Persona 4? Like, my instinct says Naoto, but like, I don't know. <laughs> that could be wrong. I don't know why. Not got there yet, apparently. Oh. Fun. Why do you keep missing? What's going on here? Is he rivaling Misuji? No, it's Igus. She just keeps missing. Okay, we got a problem here. <laughs> That's a shiny Smurgle. And it's marked as well. <laughs> okay. I need to be careful with this, because, um, yeah. Smeargle has a chance to kill itself. I'm oh, going does to... it know self-destruct? Worse, it only has one move, Sketch, and it only has one you chance to, to use it. You for the door? Alright. That's why I've just put it with False Swipe. So uh, now it won't be able to kill me, but now it has a move to spam while I try and catch it. Okay, i got two options. This motherfucker is either weak to fire? Oh, I forgot to clip. I guess you hit your fucking attack this time. You did. You missed one of them, though. Very curious why I don't know. Naruto Just, like, would have My fought. gut went Naruto. I don't know why. There was like no there brain go. power, all feeling. Hey, Asha, you alright? And why did you call Frenzy <laughs> Glyce? Why, why, why did you call my, Why did you call Frenzy that? Nope. Not the, not the Gliscorossi. <laughs> not the Gliscorossi. Okay, let's... Oh, finally. Found it's a got a mark. Um, we'll go and see in a minute. Oh, it's not even for the right one. Sick. Echo, what have I told you about evolving? You're fine as you are. What? Thank you. Are you, trying, are you forcing your Noibat into baby mode? 
I've got like five other shiny Neuber Neuverns. I want one to actually... Besides, this is a special one I caught on my birthday. You get an exclusive mark if you catch a Pokemon on your birthday. You do? Yeah. Everybody's dead. Oh, fuck. What happened? I looked away for two seconds and everyone's dead. There we wow, go. after ball. Right. Huh? What are you Where's throwing at me? The... Oh. I know now. Yeah. That's not clever, Asha. I mean, they are funny. But yes, uh, Asha, these are my mods. Uh, Big Rat, Monarch, and Miker. Or Mike for short. I know I can hit a weakness. Right, uh, let us have a look at the mark that uh, Smurgle has gotten. Of course it's the uncommon. He's not weak to that either. That's the Mother, easy method. Oh yeah, fucking give it another stone. If anything, the easier method is just juice it up to 100. Yeah, okay. An, an Everstone, it'll just stop trying to evolve. It'll stop trying to evolve if it can't level up any higher, though, will it? Uh, Fuka. Fuka, use your third G. God damn it. Give everyone the buff. Now, Asha, I am um, implore that you have to send a formal apology to Frenzy because, as I can say right now, Frenzy is in the corner right now, uh, crying because they did not like being called Glyscorusy. Uh, it's funny. <laughs> I feel like I should probably block here. I feel like I should just dip a random Minchino into a, a glass of strawberry milk and then just say that's a shiny. Come on, Minchino. Please be pink. Or maybe if a chinchi chinchi a chinchino was green, I think. Let's do promotion of ads. I just clicked on something. When we actually do do Sea of Thieves, Tori's going to have a massive opportunity to... Uh, mess around with uh, um, a particular sound they like. What is everybody missing for? Stop it. Look what I got. I got John dead. I got John dead. dead. I, I guess what's inside it. it. That's going to be a lot of parts of the cameo reference there, mates. Just debuff this fellow right here because I think that's what killed us earlier, but I don't know. Stop it putting crit rate up on yourself, motherfucker! I've been coming up with my own C name. Henceforth, I shall be known as Long John Nitro. Hello, Long John. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> on second thoughts, maybe not. Last thing I need is Meg. Last thing I need is Meg to hear that. Yes, yeah, someone's. Long John. Someone's finally using the first. That isn't one of the mods. <laughs> uh, weak to? He's not weak to anything. That's great. I'm weak to social anxiety. You, you're weak to fire. One minute to try and find the Minchino. I just died again. What is it with your Igus? She got bozoed on. Again. I'm waiting until Yukari's turn so I can heal. Except I'm not gonna oh, piss on the earth. I'm Get gonna up. go higher. I'm Get pissing up, on the moon! Yes. Oh, atrophy. Can't get up. Yes. Okay, let's go. Pissing on the moon. The problem is I don't have any items that can heal everyone. Has there been anything from Snapcubes if they're going to do another um, redub project? I don't know. 
Penny, a Penny, who, who, who Snap Cube is her channel. Um, she streams sometimes. Eh, sandwich is up. But since Smurgle was found, we don't have to reset it. Distress? No. Evil touch? Yeah, fuck it. We'll try and put the fear of God in this guy. <laughs> and he blocked it. That's not great. <laughs> oh, I forgot to replace the f the uh, gif. And actually, while I'm doing this, I'll get uh, stream raiders going. Oh yeah, wait, fuck, I could probably... There's still time. No, there's not. He did. He did. We killed him. He did. Nice. Me and my one guy. So I forgot to place more. I'm thinking, oh. I'm thinking maybe we should um, let Tori know this is open for them. Like, I know that they're busy with a D&D session, but... They did like to jump in whenever they can. Fucking Christ. Hey. There. Okay. Alright, All right. let's uh, get Smurgle's file up. I need something that restores health to all allies, please. Ow. Smurgle, Smurgle, Smurgle. 200 HP to all allies, let's go. Go, Pog. Ah, Smurgle. There we go. Can I charm him? I cannot. This is a little block setting. Damn it! That's one knocked down. Beat it up, Coral Chan. Oh, Thergy. Fuck you. Yeah. Go, for, Yukari. For bad context as well, Asher, um. Big Rat Monarch here is playing Persona 3. I am currently playing Persona 3 Reload. Um. There we go. Next sandwich on the way. Don't ask me why, but randomly, um, I was listening to um, Diggy Diggy Hole on um, YouTube. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it was a bit random. What do you mean random? It's one of the best songs ever written. It's a song about digging. It's one of the best songs ever written. Spicy and sweet. Miners of the moon rejoicing, sing, sing with me, raise your pick and raise your voice, ring, 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 ring. Down and down to the deep pool of the river, time to go to stroll them all ahead of the dog. Born underground! Yeah, it's great. I think it was mainly because I heard a version that sounded quite orchestral. It's a great song. Go, you curry gambare! <laughs> What's the name of that anime again on Netflix? Like, um, it's about like this girl who's very quiet to the point where she's mute. Or something because she's that shy. Oh, Comey can't communicate. Yeah, I think that was it. I was hoping to watch that at some point. Yeah, that's great. You should watch that. Frankly, I think maybe we could try and do like watch parties in the Discord for stuff like this. I think you should watch Physical 100. Um, it's great. The thing about bodybuilding. Well, it's not about it's. It, there's a bunch of bodybuilders in it, but it's not about bodybuilding. It's like it's these athletes oh. going through like these physical trials to see who's the best and to win 300 million won, which translates into euros is about 200,000 euros. It starts with 100 people and then there's nobody left that just one winner. It's so good. I am trying for some fucking people. You should know. I think the main thing that's infuriating me about me trying to find this Chinchino 
Oh, fuck it is. Sorry, I'm good to eat your cabbage cream stew. Is the fact that ca off camera, I've already done this. I did it on my own to try and get a VGC ready. You've got to be. That, that's a shiny reuniclus. I'm not eat. I don't. Why? Why? Thanks for showing up, but you're not what I was looking for. Exactly. It's just a random reuniclus. I just got eighteen thousand XP. Fuck yeah. I only went up two levels. <laughs> uh, yes, they did. They did say uh, physical 100. Some kind of Korean show on Netflix about bodybuilding. Yes, I just finished the first season of that today. Very you, fucking good. Are you about to tell me that you've watched it as well, Mike? It's so good. I just finished the first season today. I really thought that the um, like the the mountain rescue guy. I thought he was gonna Jesus win for a while. Christ, this is the most unobscure thing I've ever seen. I I found out about this yesterday. I found out about this yesterday, and I watched the entire first season between yesterday and today. And I'm gonna watch the second season because honestly, Mike, I wouldn't think you'd be into uh, something like that though. Like, <laughs> you think I don't want to see big burly men beat the shit out of each other? If it was big, if it was big barely women, I'd say yeah. Yeah, there's women in it too. I'm not talking about like. Honest, they don't. I wouldn't think not Mike a lot could of be make that make it that far, but it was it, you know they did great. I wouldn't think Mike would be into the sort of thing though. It's fun. It, it was a really fun show to watch. You know, it was a uh, fun as far show. As I know for the the second season, the the preliminary event is running. And I think that's so fun. You know what was really fun to watch? Tatashi's Castle. <laughs> so that was a fun show to watch. Takashi's Castle? Yeah. Takashi's Castle? I can't remember what it is. I, I know very little bit better than it. It's fucking insane. Oh, there was one episode where Basil Brush cover uh, starred in it. What the fuck? Yeah. Strong enemies again on this floor well, too? It's one of the only things that I didn't hear complaining about and was able to enjoy watching it. Mm. I guess. I'm still um, kind of in a psychiatric therapy when it came to Mario Party, though, if we're talking about complaining about something. That fucking episode where, like, the two MMA fighters just decided, like, the like the old MMA fighter and the young MMA fighter, and the young guy was like, Sir, I would like to fight you in the rules of MMA out of this stupid game we're doing. And he went, fuck yeah. And then it's literally them hitting each Oh, it was so good. Oh, it's all good. Seriously, almost everything I end up watching that isn't football or war movies literally fucking complaining to the point I want five concussions. Mm. I feel like I've had five concussions after what happened yesterday. Wow, 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 wow. But hey, that's luck for a chinchilla. So yeah, that guy that was in the chat earlier, he was kind of, last time he was here, he was promoting that he's like a, a big hacker or something. Considering I have the normal sandwich on, there are a lot of normal spawns showing up for some reason. And I don't mean the normal type spawns, I mean like, things that usually do spawn sh are showing up. Uh, oh. I don't know what these motherfuckers are weak to, but it is... Annoying! <laughs> is that a really annoying class that um basically doesn't have... Like, a uh, weakness. That was the last fight. No, this one guy's reflecting magic and apparently most physical attacks, so I just can't hit him. Oh, those mini boss fights were the worst. If anything, I think that was the final. Like, I can't use magic on him, and he exists. Two of the three types of physical damage I can do. Oh, 
all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get Koromaru to buff everyone's crit rate and hope for the best. I still kinda don't know what I'm gonna do with that playlist, cause I don't know what to do. Oh, God. Like, should I just leave it me. there? Should I just leave it there or should I remove it? Leave it there. Yeah, but it's incomplete. It just leave it there though. Don't delete content. That's a bad idea. Unless YouTube makes me. I mean, yeah, unless you physically have no choice. But like, if you don't have to, don't do it. Shoot it again, Yukari! Those enemies who are immune to magic and have counter skills. Yeah, that, that is... Like, yeah, people are there saying, oh, get good on... That sort of thing pushes its luck, really. Uh, no, it's okay. So one of them is weak to pierce damage, and the other one, the only damage I can hit him with is pierce damage, but he's not weak to it because he's reflecting magic for whatever stupid fucking reason. A random minute break. Oh, was I don't think Crowy's gone through how the um, mod viewers worked yet for you two, has he? Has, have, have they? What do you mean? You know how um, Crowy has a specific view for the stream, so they have a bit of extra bit bells and whistles. Uh huh. I think um, we need to make sure that every mod has access to this. They, 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 I'd probably have to be on a computer. That's something I'm gonna have to check with them about. I know they've managed I to give it to Tori. Forgot that P3 had multiple physical damage types, blunt slash and pierce. Yeah, um, didn't yeah. Persona 5 have something similar, but it was just physical and bullets, and that was it? It was, yeah, it was melee and range and magic. That was it. Simplified it a whole bunch, but... Uh, P4 is the same thing, I think. I still need to keep. I still have to keep an eye. I still need to keep an eye on um the regulations and rules about me streaming that game because obviously the whole I don't want to get flagged for copyright just for playing Persona. I know Twitch is a bit more linear about it. It's YouTube that'll be the problem. For me, um, the one, there is one example of a company that actually has made a pretty good understanding about it, and hence has made a reasonable um, count, counter, countermeasure to copyright strikes. It's Sega. For me, Sega's really done well with this, because they've made, they made it clear that if you're playing a game that's playing the music, you're fine. But if you just play the music on its own, then you get flagged. It's more of a case of you can't help it if the game plays the music. And obviously if yeah. you're playing it, that's the main focus of the game. You actually play in the game, not the music. So that's why I think Sega's done really well with that. And frankly, I think other companies should relate to that. Okay, seriously, what the heck is going on? The amount of Minchinos I've seen. If I hear one... Feel it. If I hear one word about algorithms. You curry. Oh, oh which is the one I have with the fucking crit boost. Is you curry... Is you curry confused? No, she missed. And I'm gonna do it again! Let me hitty the critty, please. Gotta hit the gritty. Oh. Oh, you fucking missed, you stupid bitch. It's already been an hour, Jesus. Is it still blocking magic? I don't think so. It's not. Oh, we're pogging. Oh, we're gaming. Oh, we're gaming. 
Oh, we're gaming now. I, f I missed again. I guess, babe, come on now. Oh, I'm stupid. No, that's my job. I'm always stupid. I'm a stupid I knew that wouldn't hit, and I still did it anyways. No, your car is frozen. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God, sorry. Jesus. That just went live to Twitch TV. Alright. Um. Pizza burp. <laughs> what kind of pizza? Uh, of course, it's a vegetarian, though. Barbecue margarita. Is there. It's gonna sound weird, but like. Is there a difference between margarita and mozzarella? I mean, a margarita is just a cheese pizza. Oh. I thought um, margarita was a type of cheese. No, it's just a cheese pizza. Oof. I've heard so many bad things about South Park Snow Day. Yeah, it doesn't look great. A shame that it did look the interesting. The concept sounded great, but it, it does not look great. If anything, it looks like it's trying to copy Avengers and ju kill the Justice League for quality. Yeah, I don't, it, just, it just it don't look great. Is it ice? Is it weak to ice? It's not ice. There's a lot of ice I in the topic. I just can't move! Oh, I forgot, yeah. 30... Gold. It's better on paper than end result. Yeah. The, yeah, the concept a multiplayer South Park game, I would have thought it would have had the same art style as the original two. But then randomly anyway. it's 3D. Nope. 3D. Weird Consi combat mechanics. Like, yeah, that how was hard the... is it to make a multiplayer turn-based RPG? Oh, more, I didn't hold on a minute. more importantly, though, like, how hard is it to get a functioning multiplayer co-op game to work? Avengers, Suicide Squad, Snow Day. It feels like so many games have failed the idea of a multiplayer co-op game. Heck, freaking Overwatch sacked the idea. Which was extremely sad because, uh, in my opinion, when I played those mo uh, those um, story missions, they were actually decent. I could have um, been put into more depth uh, if they carried on with it. It just feels like so many ideas for online co-op could have gone well, but they didn't. I mean, that's, I think that's like most games come out now, they're either like, they're super hyped and then they come out and they're bad, or they're super hyped and they come out and then they're actually good. Mm. And considering the fact there was only one evil faction you got to fight, being AIM, even in the Wakanda expansion, you didn't deal with anyone exclusive, you just dealt with AIM. I mean, I played... Not the beta, maybe the beta or the f free trial. And you didn't like the demo? It, yeah. I played the demo of that game and I hated it, so. Four felt powerful, though, I'll admit that. Four felt powerful enough. I mean, well, in the demo, you don't fucking get that far. You get to play as Kamala, and that's it. And that's so. Oh, technically, you get a small demo of all of the Avengers in that story mission. I think Suicide Squad was even worse for the fact that it kind of just ripped Kevin Conroy's Batman in half. Uh, I mean, I don't feel that strongly about it. I don't think it was that bad. I think it was more for the fact that people have been swaying towards Gotham Knights of all things, other than Suicide Squad. Hey, I've been playing that a little bit, and it's not that bad. Like, it's not... It's not Arkham Games level of fun traversal, but, like... It's... I mean, I get motorcycle, and that's fun, so... 
Mm. I've enjoyed what little of it I've played, and I love Jason Todd, so... We are planning to still do that, aren't we, so... I think the original plan was, like, we'd split off into two teams and just... Fuck around, uh, find out. Yeah, play the story on our own separate channels, and then... When we're done, we'll just bring it all together as one. Because then there's that. There's, isn't there a thing you can do? Like, there's a Twitch thing. Mike, Where you can have like four streams open at once. Mike, is that true? Even I'm playing Gotham Knights nice soon because I know I will probably enjoy it. Not sure who'd go. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> as long as I get Nightwing or Batgirl. And I love Jason Todd. That's my god. I mean, the options are um, Batgirl, J uh, Red Hood, Nightwing, and Robin, Tim Drake. Can we just agree that Damian Wayne is the worst Robin? Uh, no. <laughs> Damian no, Wayne's such a. Demi Wayne's a little brat. I enjoy that little man. So basically, the loser's gonna get Robin. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with Tim Drake. I mean, he's cool, but like, Jason Todd is one of my favorite characters from the Bat Family, so. Okay, what is actually going on here? The amount of Minchinos I've, bumped, I've run into, not one of them has gone pink. Why you stop missing? Go dog. And now the snowstorm of lag has come back. Well yeah, Kira's getting Jason Todd. They've made that bluntly clear. I love him. Give me a gun. Are you telling me that's the main reason why you want Jason Todd? No. I just like his character a lot. Um. And because he's dead? How do you know he's very much alive? Thank you very much. He used <laughs> to be dead. <laughs> you can say that about a lot of characters in DC. <laughs> Who took the most damage from that? You, Kari. Okay. When I think biker jacket, I think of that one random Scooby-Doo movie where randomly Jaggy was able to beat up an entire motorcycle gang. Oh, yeah. And it was... He only reached 1% of his power. It was mainly funny because... It, you don't expect it, but next thing you know, there's a bunch of guys on the floor. And Cyclone arrow. It, it kind of made it even better because later on in the film, that same biker gang helped them. Oh, for real? Like they don't have any grudge on Shaggy. If anything, they just give respect. Just, like, just damn, he beat us up. All right. What have I not tried? Ice and light. Okay. Can I please just have a pink chinchilla so we can spin the wheel today? Oh, I fucking already have a I out. I want to spin the wheel. Let it's us, nice. let us spin the wheel. I want to spin the wheel. The, the wheel is exciting, unless it unless it lands on Cinderquill, then I'd be panicking. Well, at least I know what we're doing. When we've done this then. Yeah. At least I know what I'm doing when we've done this. I just saw a notification that bends up. Yep. I think both weak to lightning. That's unfortunate. Pew pew. Oh, is that what he's weak to? Or is she just crit? No, she crit. I mean, there will probably be some point. Fairly soon, I will just have to disappear for a bit because my family is coming over. Another ant. 
the same ant that comes over every two weeks. <laughs> uh, but yes, they're going out to the pub tonight. They're what gonna have I not tried. They're gonna get tanked. They, well, it's the DJ there. It's his last night, so they're going out to see him off type thing. Worked there ten years, and they're giving them this sack. They're firing him. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, that's a nice way to have him send him off. Yeah, you're fired. Have a Chardonnay. Well, and today's his last last day, I guess. Uh, so th they're going out for that. Kari, I need you to level up because you're like my little heel slave, and I I need you to do better. <laughs> Is it a problem if my thumb feels numb for pushing the joystick forward for so long? Yeah. Oh shit. That's two people fucking dead. Get up, you carny. I'm still, frankly, a bit of a gobsmacked about the whole I found a full reuniclus whilst trying to find a Minchino. Mainly because that's technically full odds for that thing, and it's a fully evolved Pokemon at that. Get I guess up. Is it bad that I kind of want to listen to a few um, Has Been Hotel songs, but no, I can't because I'll get flagged. I mean, yeah. I did hear something recently about like some being some ac accusations on um, the creator of Hasbun Hotel, but I have no idea where they came from. Oh, is this about her using the, the voodoo stuff? No, like being like actual like offensive wording or something. I don't know. I know the anime just thought she don't get paid a whole bunch, so. Yeah, I don't know where they come from. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's just what I've heard. Bro has no weaknesses. Even you already scanned it. You don't know half of the shit about it. What Can am I distress it? What am I missing here? Okay. The second one, oh, the other. On. No shit, Sherlock. Let's go, crit. Coromaru, you a real one for that. Oh, it didn't even die. Hey, it's not rank. Let's try on this bit here. That pizza really kicking. Uh, there's barbecue sauce on it. Just the barbecue sauce. <laughs> well, barbecue sauce isn't really known to give you gas. Um, listen, bro, my body built different, okay? <laughs> I'm just built different. No, let's continue. Tell me to leave yet. I want the pink chinchilla. Give me the pink chinchilla. Alright, everybody's full health. We've got basically all our fucking shit. Let's go open chests. Oh, three of them. Pog. Oh. Before you give that to me, Sudo. Memoir 2. Alright. Yeah, um, you know the traditional against you know, the traditional stubbing of your toe. What? 
You know when you stub your toe? Yes. Well, oh, oh come on, not another Porygon. I'm just confused by what you mean by the the, the traditional stubbing of toe. Well, it's not like there's any other way you can flip into it. I anyway. just that phrase alone has confused me. I confuse a lot of people. Moving on. So yeah, I stood my toe the other day, and then like yesterday, like there's this weird mark showing up where I hit it, and apparently I'm um, I somehow got an infection from banging it. It, it made no sense to uh -huh. me, frankly. You got an infection from banging? Oh god. Oh, you shut up. I'll be right back. You know what I meant. This is looking a bit more promising because there's a lot more Minchino here. Stream Raiders is ready to go. You still there, Mike? I would not be happy with myself if the only Pokemon I find tonight is a flipping dog with paint on his brush. I mean, on its tail. That was accidental that time. <laughs> Please, come on. Three units, alright. Is this just drill but all over again? Like, there's no reason for it to be hard, it's just not showing up. Please give me some luck. None of them. Honest to God, Mike, if I just get smurgled tonight, I'm not going to be happy with this. has arrived so I will be going all right if I don't see in a bit I'll see a uh, player on 
No, I'll see you later. I am. At least I got to chat with someone tonight. No, it's just me and my anxiety filled brain. Well, sandwich is gone, so that means we have to erase a reuniclus and another polygon. Uh -huh. And it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to spin the wheel. Whoa, who? Please, just give me the Mincino. Plus side, tofu is really easy to make sandwiches of. Easy, easy. That just looks like le Duplo in a nutshell. Falling over all the time. Please just give us a shiny Minchino and then we might have enough time to spin the wheel one more time. In all seriousness, no guys, if it actually does get to a point where we do get Cinder Quill, I might have to leave that for next week so I can get a bit of extra research to figure out how to do it.
It would appear that Mike has gone as well. Oh, you, usually I only get, usually one viewer shows up whether someone is here or not. So I thought with it, I thought um, if it said two viewers, someone else was here or something. That's just how inconsistent my view counter is sometimes. Like it says one viewer, no one's here. And then, there you go, it still says one viewer, but you're here. There's been some times where it says two viewers are here and no one's here. So like, it, it's hard to assume unless people are talking. How hard is it to find one little chinchilla that's pink? My own brother Fippin found a shiny Minchina when he was a toddler. True story. Come on, please. Please be nice to me. Just a random Oshawa. Yeah, I think that's something I kind of forgot to think about. Now that I've reset my um, Legends Arceus, Ready for the shiny only run in that. There's no other way for me to get a cinder quill now. Except from in here. At least if I had that open still. I could have tried to hunt it there just in case. The worst case scenario happened. And of course the worst case scenario would have been. Spending weeks trying to find cinder quill like I did to find Totodile. I don't remember going over here. It's a stellar type Lapras. Whoa, whoa. <sighs> I can't go up on the mountains, that's where dealing are gonna be. It's 
Sheep, look, Dealing and Sauce Buck. So being up here won't work. Oh, just Smurgle shows up. That's not too bad. Just checking. These two platforms seem to work well. Remember to have a look on those two um, platforms while I'm going around. So, Mike, level with me. What's what's next on that big list of games you want to go through next? Like, which one do you think you're going to start playing next? Tokyo Mirage. Oh, yeah. I think I remember you said something about it, yeah. Wasn't drag that Dragon Quest game? Only recently been released. If anything, I'm just trying to talk about something, because right now I feel like I am losing my mind trying to find a pink Minchino. I don't understand why it isn't showing up. It's it's not algorithm, it's just luck. I'm just being very unlucky with this, aren't I? Especially for how many... Like, we're seeing a lot more Minchinos than we're seeing Porygons. And yeah, I found more Porygons than Minchinos. I'm losing my mind. I'm going crazy. Oh wait, I've already been crazy. Just generally, just wanted to shiny hunt something else. Like that's the main thrill of this challenge, just to have a large variety. If I'm just going through the same Pokemon every week, <laughs> that kind of loses the point.
right? Another minute ad. I still need to wonder what Tori was talking about last time that we're here. About like how ads keep playing over and over again for them. Did that happen to you when you jumped on? Like lots of ads played at once. Because frankly, uh, I don't know what to do about that. This is actually getting annoying now. I mean, it actually is getting annoying. Where is this stupid chinchilla? I think this is the way to go, mainly for the fact that I can quickly reset all these. Oh, thank god, finally. And you're marked as well. Get here, get here, please. Right. Now I can actually spin the wheel today! <laughs> Alright, well that's doing all that. Then I hide you. There. Right. Let's sort out what we found then. And there we go, the first box is done. I might consider doing a compilation video for this. Right, let's have a look at Minchino. Uncommon, of course. I love how it's called the Uncommon Mark, yet yeah, it's the most common mark you can get. Oh right, I forgot this is a Stone Evolution Pokemon. <laughs> I think it's the Shiny Stone. Yeah, there we go. Weird, uh, what color would you say the fur would be? Mm, let me see if I can get an expert on this.
Just checking that. Tail Slap, really underrated normal type move, especially on um, a Pokemon like uh, Chinchino. And with that, the first box of Shinies is complete. Sweet. That actually feels kind of rewarding, knowing I've done all this. Right. Now it's time for the other lot. We're not done yet. We've still got lots to do. Right, first off, let me get Smurgle out of the list. There, right. Uh, Smurgle, Smurgle, Smurgle. Smurgle. Okay. The final hunter tonight will contain... Ooh, this is an interesting one. Score Bunny. For a number of reasons. Well, two actually. One. I don't have a shiny score bunny yet. And frankly, um, I spent a lot of time during Sword and Shield to try and find it. I found Grookey and Sobble, but I didn't find score bunny. And two, Chimchar is in the same area, so we could get Chimchar done at the same time. It depends on how lucky I get. And obviously, let's just accept the facts. Chimchar is a lot better than Score Bunny. Let me just readjust it so it's a little bit bigger. There. Right. Luckily, I don't have to change biomes for this one. And yeah, this will be the last sandwich of the night, though. All right, then. Fire needs three red bell peppers, right? Hey Mike, what is your opinion on the Gen 8 stars? Frankly, um, Rillaboom is kind of making me realize something, though. Apart from one or two exceptions, being Oshawa and, uh, Fuecoco, uh, for obvious reasons, I kind of feel like I always sway towards the grass type. Yeah, the Grookey is the best out of the three. No doubt about it. Um, when it comes to the first stages, though, I like Sobble more, but Inteleon kind of crashed and burned, in my opinion. You could see what they were doing, but it just looked too human for that. Like, maybe if it was crouched over and more like in a battle stance like Greninja was, maybe I'd like it a bit more, but the fact that it just stands up straight kind of ruins it for me. But again, like, if it was in like a a pouncing stance like a ninja or a spy would be I probably would have liked it more and there you go here go all the bunnies and here go all the monkeys obviously the main target will be the bunnies 
And it's a bit extra funny thinking about the Easter Sunday just went past. Imagine how old the nose it'd be if um the Easter Sun uh the Academy Challenge video that um Easter Sunday was on that weekend. I rolled score bunny or something. That would have been funny. Ugh. It's gonna take me a bit to realize what score bunny is supposed to look like, isn't it? Especially when its ears flop backwards when it's running. I think, if anything, I just need to look for a score bunny where its ears aren't that harsh of a red. Because you can see there it's orange, if anything, maybe a dark yellow. And then obviously I've got to keep an eye out for the chimchars as well because I could see a pink monkey. But yeah, back to what I was saying, um, I, f I feel like I instinctively always choose the grass starters. Gen 1, I've always liked Venusaur, now that I've had some time to see how overhyped Charizard is. Gen 2, I uh, admit I've never tried Chikorita. And in fact, I haven't even tried for Alligator yet. But if the time comes, I will try to use them. So I can actually get an honest opinion about how they work. Gen 3, I've always liked Sceptile. But it's very close between that and Swampert, I'll admit that. Gen 4, Torterra straight away. But obviously, I'll say yes to Chimchar every now and again to try something new. I don't like Empoleon. I do like Superior, but I'll admit I have used Oshawott more than Superior. I'll, I've used Semrot more than Superior, I'll admit that. Gen 6 is the first definite exception for the fact they hate Chestnut. Chestnut is a bad starter. I always prefer going for Froakie and uh, Fennekin in that one. Gen 7, I do like Decidueye, and I've used that a lot of times. But frankly, I kind of have the same problem as I have back in Gen 3. Like, all three of the stars have good redeeming qualities. I like Incineroar, I like Primarina, and I like Decidueye as well. And then Gen 8, I always like Rillaboom. I hate Cinderace and I hate Inteleon. And yeah, with, with Gen 9, like, Fuecoco will always be my go-to starter for that generation. But I do appreciate uh, Miascarada as well. It's like, it just feels like I instinctively always go for grass types. It's weird. Do you have something like that, like, with anything else other than Pokemon? Or something similar to that? Like, you always instinctively go for one thing. Without you even realizing it. is a milkery. Yeah. Well, a anything that you have realized? <laughs> it's, I never really thought of myself to be like someone who likes the grass types, but I'm not sure if it's like I like the whole strategy of using something that technically has more weaknesses. But obviously, it has qualities that can redeem those weaknesses. I was even thinking about the Venusaur I used in um, Sword and Shield with its Gigantamax form. That thing could shred.
Monkey. Something else I'm thinking about, actually. Doesn't... Don't rabbits have a form of kung fu? Like, you know, how there's, like, um, tiger-style, mantis-style, monkey-style of kung fu. Isn't that, like, a rabbit style? Because I notice I usually fall into healer tank roll when it comes to stuff like classes. I don't mind supporting a team and push comes to shove. I don't mind being a wall of a group. It's a difference from using a certain type of Pokemon and then forcing yourself onto a class, though. Like, haven't you tried the DPS class at some point? It's just, that's kind of like the dynamic I always tried to use in Overwatch. Like, have something that I'm good at in all three classes so I'm not entirely... Well, bored. Like, I, or I'm not entirely stumped if every other role is used up. But what it... Well, I understand that, it's just I don't... Like... Ugh. Hang on, I'm, I'm having a hard time... Um, I'm having a hard time identifying the words I need. It's just down to, like, haven't you at least played a few DPS? I know you like playing Nimbus in um, Exo Primal, but... I played her myself, actually. I mainly play Krieger, though. He's supposed to be the tank of um, the roles, isn't he? In Final Fantasy XIV Online, there's a specific YouTuber on there that does really funny like, guides and content videos. And um, when he did the healing video, he basically advised that as well as healing, you need to do damage as well as the damage dealers. Because the, um, the theory is you need to stop future damage from happening. So what's the best way of dealing with future damage? Stopping the thing dealing the damage. So in that, it's the case of if your team is healthy enough to go on a bit longer, stop healing and do a bit of damage. Exactly, because healers aren't just healers, they can do a good amount of damage on their own. I'll say except for Anna. Anna has a hard time ditching her DPS, especially if you can't aim that well. Luckily I can aim, thanks to me playing Ash, but there was a point where I did struggle. Yeah, that's the thing, like, Characters in Overwatch, like Mercy and Anna, they are too specialized towards the healing factor, so this philosophy doesn't work with them. Obviously, characters like Baptiste, Anna, and Brigitte, uh, sorry, with um, Lucio, Baptiste, and um, Ilari as well. Ilari is a good example, because you can actually aim with that as well. Just depends on how specialized the healing tank of DPS is. 20 minutes to go. I'm just glad I get to shiny hunt one more. F I, I, I'm just glad I got to shiny hunt a separate thing other than Minchino. And the fact it's a starter as well. 
It's like I said, it's weird. We're getting a lot of stars done quickly. It's a bit more difficult to identify in Pokemon though, because like, yeah, you can technically have a healer DPS tank role in a in your team during a battle. It doesn't really work that well. If anything, it's advised to just make sure you're more diverse than just those three archetypes. Exactly. You can't just compare it to other RPGs. If anything, I think that's the main reason why I succeeded, because it was unique. Like, there's these dynamics of physical attackers, special attackers, Physical tanks, special tanks, and then sp fast, su fast support, and then it's just depending on your speed, like slow attacker, slow special attacker, like that. That's kind of the best way you can class a Pokemon, like depending on its speed and how much damage it can do on each of its special on a, on its offensive stats. Oh, by the way, um, I uh. Quickly jumped on um, Legends Arceus this morning to try and um, finish off what I needed to to start shiny hunting, and we're basically sorted now. So next time we do that, um, Legends Arceus, um, it's basically a situation where I'm not allowed to continue with the story until I find a shiny. And I've checked as well. I'm not able to find the special ponyta until after I've been Cleavor, so. I literally am dependent on my luck in that way. Which is exactly what I wanted. It's just the fact that uh, basically the tutorial kind of fucked up that stream yesterday, so. For a minute, I thought that Chimcha looked different. I know I should be looking for score bunnies, but. I might as well check the uh, score bunnies while uh, not the chimchars while I'm here. It really does not help when their ears fold back, so you can't see properly. Nope, not you, not you, not you, I, nope, none of them, nope. I feel like maybe I should get off my ride on so I can get a better look.
Come on, where are you? <sighs> Just under 50 minutes to go. Um, right, so, Mike, level with me on something. How bad is Mario Party 6? Because 7 doesn't look so bad, but when I look at things that are 6, it looks questionable. I'm just making sure I have a bit of an understanding about what we're going to get forced into in a couple weeks. Uh, luck based, bad control based, like what makes some really bad mini games. Well, after what we did with 5, I think uh, someone's kind of got a bit of a worse opinion about it. And I'm just glad we're having a week off on Wednesday. So that's how I've experienced some of them. All right. I understand why they didn't do um, some of the minigames from 8 in Superstars, but... The fact that there were only three when I could think of a small list that could have worked with just regular controls, it kind of baffles me. Besides, pro controllers come with gyro controls. Exactly. What's so wrong about remapping the buttons? And again, like like I just said, the the pro controllers have gyroscope controls, so you could add a little bit of motion controls into it. Maybe even the uh, the one about shaking a co can coke or something. Don't know why I'm bringing that up for no apparent reason. Let's face it, that's the best minigame in 8. Maybe because of the amount of memes that have been come from that one minigame. Oh. Wasn't Mario Party the one exception to that? I felt like they did the motion controls really well. Well, considering they're being used in um, VR games these days, whether people like it or not, we gotta deal with them. That's something I just don't get, though. Like. Why was it so revolutionary then? Yeah, if you're going to say it's because it was a new thing, that there were lots of new things that come out over the years that people were crazy for. But I don't remember think people going crazy over things other than motion controls. Yeah. 
the only proper reason I think that the motion controls really sunk was um with the connect. The connect really ruined it, really. Let's try you. Nope. Nope. Stiff hand again. Eight minutes to go. Well, I know my granddad had it. Do you remember playing Mario Galaxy with him? My granddad was into technology, so like he wasn't into the whole <laughs> that sort of thing. Like, yeah, we played it, but we got into we we got into we um sports, yeah. But um, we had Mario Party Eight, as we mentioned, uh, Mario Kart Wii, Mario Galaxy. I think one time we did have Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, but I think maybe it was a one-off. Trust me, my granddad was the one person that did not, like, just play it simple. He knew what he was doing. And I loved him for that. That's something I'm hoping to try and get off him, like, jeans-wise, if you know what I mean. Uh, that one there looks different. No. Ironically for me, I'm probably the most interested part of my family when it comes to tech. None of it. Oh, believe me, I know that feeling. <clears throat> it was mainly around my my main. <laughs> it's mainly around me dad though that one because my mom and brother have kind of got a bit of familiarity around tech, so. But I've, everyone always goes to me for tech advice, though. Which I don't know why, because I'm stupid. Okay, just I'm just finally seeing um Tori's reaction to the Chinchino. So it's more of a cream colour. Right. 
I didn't think they'd react that violently to a Chinchino, I'll admit that. But knowing their past experiences with cute Pokemon, I should have really seen it coming. Just remember they played Battle Revolution a lot and whoa boy it makes me miss and yeah I, I do hope Pokemon realize how much of a cash grab they could get and try and make some more Colosseum games like that. I just love I would love to get some of that data again. So I can have a proper experience of what it's like. Three minutes to go. It can never be that simple, can it? We can't just find an orange rabbit. We have to just mess around and just realize the fact that we're not going to get anything. And that's kind of going underneath my recommended... My self-recommendation of getting at least three per stream. You can't stop me from being frustrated about not getting free shinies at least. It's not exactly a hard feat. None of them... no. Come on. Just having a closer look, sorry. Wrap. Sandwich up. 
and there's an ad playing. Ah, scrap. I, I just wish we'd actually would have gotten something. I could even have taken a flippin' snubble or a granble. Yeah, all right, all right, hang on. Yeah, all the ones that spawn before the sandwich end is gone, so. All right. I won't need an outbreak or anything, it's just... I've just been unlucky, haven't I? Alright then guys, I'll leave it for today. Um obviously we've gotten um two targets being um Minchino and Smurgle. Eh, it would have been good to get score bunny, but oh well. Next week we'll continue with getting that and maybe we'll spin the wheel again. Might even get Chimcha. Who knows at this point. But yeah. If you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Again, we've reached a hundred subs recently, really appreciated for that. And let's see if we can go any higher than that. But for now, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya.